and just cut away. Come on, just grow a pair of balls and do it. All right, so this is a really quick video. It's just some style hacks that I've got for you. Fashion and style hacks that I've written down my phone. Why do I have my makeup brush in my hand? I don't know. I think I just, yeah, that was it. I was like using this. I was literally using the viewfinder just as my mirror to put on my makeup. Um, I have on, what is this? This is Sun Power. Sun Power by MAC. Love this blush. Anyway, throws the brush on the bed. Right, so let me go through these hacks one by one. All right, so, oh God, hack number one. Wait, let me go and get the boots. This is gonna be a bit controversial. Shout out to the girl on my YouTube channel, a viewer who recommended this because it works for me, because I'm crazy enough to obviously try it, aren't I? <laughs> Stretching your boots or your shoes. You've heard about the hairdryer. It's just basically the heat. Well, somebody recommended one further. Remember these mango boots that I've had? Okay, so I had a massive issue with these. I didn't know how to stretch them because they were a little bit tight. I was actually on the verge of returning them or selling them or something because I just didn't know how to make them work out because they were just a little bit too... Ugh. Somebody left a tip in the comments below saying to me, Karen, put them in the microwave. Just put them in the microwave. <clears throat> Bear with me. I know you're going to be like, what? Put them in the microwave for literally a few seconds and they will basically heat up a little bit and they will be fine when you put them on. So, so said, so done. I put them in the microwave, one boot at a time, left it on for a few seconds, checked it, felt it. If you didn't feel any difference, I put it back in, a few more seconds, checked it, right? And when I noticed it was like really kind of soft, I put it on and my foot just went whoop and it just slipped in, it was absolutely fine. And I've now been able to wear these boots. But obviously precaution, word out there for your advice, be very careful if you're gonna try it yourself. Um, I don't want you burning down your house. I don't want your microwave bursting into flames because of this star hack. So, you know, try it your own caution. Like I said, I am mad enough to have done it and the girl who recommended it to me, she had tried it before and it worked. Try it at your own risk, but it worked for me, so I wanted to share it. Oh, just be careful of nails. A lot of shoes and boots are constructed with a ton of nails inside of them. So a metal and microwaves don't go well together. So something to bear in mind. But anyway, worked for me, may work for you. If you want to try it, yes. This is another good one. Okay, sticking with shoes. Stay there, I've got another pair of shoes I wanna show you. Okay, so you know when in the shop, especially during the sale clearance time, which actually is around now, and you see shoes that are on sale, you love them, they're perfect, but they're in this crazy color, and you think to yourself, oh, that's why they're on sale. Well, that's what happened to me when I saw these Acme Brogues absolutely gorgeous brogues look at these pointed bought these in the woodbury common sale they were on some ridiculous markdown i think they were like 60 70 percent off or actually more than that it was just so good but it was purple bright barney's that dinosaur is that dinosaur what's the american dinosaur is it called it's a purple one is it barney but the price was too good to not take i was with a friend i tried them on yeah i love them too karen but look at the color of them but i saw past that didn't i so I ended up taking them, brought them to my favorite cobbler and they dyed them black for me. Remember, you can always dye it. And that also applies to clothes as well. Just bear in mind, it's harder to dye from dark going up to light, like to dye this from black to pink. It's always easier for a cobbler to dye something that's lighter to a darker color. Okay, what's this? Not one or two front sections of a dress hem. Yes, I do this all the time. I'm gonna try and insert either pictures or video footage of me doing this. Let me change the silhouette of a skirt or a dress hem, especially if it's long and loose, or something like this, it's very flowy. I always like to just take it up and just knot it right there. It's just a little detail that just changes the shape of your dress or your skirt. Just to add some interest to the skirt or to the dress, again, you can layer underneath that dress or that skirt with something else. And then you take that top layer and you just knot it so you've got the peak underneath of what you've got. Perfect. This one you may already know, but I love to do it. Roll your clothes into tubes when you're packing instead of folding them. That way it avoids them creasing up. I know that's something that people do when they travel. I do it as well, but apply that same theory at home, right? Roll your things in your drawer. You do that when you're going away, apply the same theory when you're at home. You know when you're going away on holiday or something and you've got a bunch of like delicate chains and you're thinking, how can I pack them in a way that it's not gonna get all tangled up? Take a straw, thread the chain through the straw, 
and just hook it and now you've got your chain nice and separated and you can just build it up different straw different chain none of them are going to be tangled who does not know this one but it's worth repeating anyway you got a long maxi skirt turn it into a dress it's so easy to do so bring it up over here and then you can even go one step further it's a, especially if it's a very long skirt you can turn around and just belt it especially if it's like a soft material so it kind of like blouses over the belt just turn that long gypsy skirt into a fantastic strapless dress where a contrasting belt don't forget this is where you really go to town and make it a completely different outfit and then when it gets cool in the evenings just bung on a leather jacket denim crop jacket love that Oh, the power of contrast. Mm, how can I explain this to you in a really quick hack? I have found that when I get dressed, I always apply the power of what I call contrasting. When you're wearing something dark, contrast it by wearing something light. Later on, when it gets a little bit cooler, I can turn around and bung these on with this. I have this boot in black, but I would wear the white. You've got the bright with the dark. That's something I always like to do. Use that with bags and use that with clothes. That's how you get that kind of wow look together with your outfits. You take a dark item and then you pair it. You think, what bag do I put with it? Clash it with something that's lighter. It's that contrast. You're wearing something light. Do the same thing. Don't turn around necessarily and wear like a lighter colored bag with it contrast it and take like a darker colored bag and the bag is going to pop against your outfit and the outfit is going to pop against your back against your bag it's just those principles of contrasting the light and dark that's a theory that i apply practically on a daily basis another hack for you adding ties to the tops of your strap for your summer dresses so this is a sundress that i've had for a few years now and i love it there was actually one on reformation that i was like saying to everybody on my Instagram stories, oh, I love this dress so much, look at this dress. And one of the things I loved about that dress was literally the ties on the straps. I thought that just looked so pretty and flattering. So I looked into my wardrobe and I did have this similar-ish dress. Just a quick and easy hack to update it was I just literally added ties to the tops of it. And it instantly, to me, was a small detail, but it made a big difference. Instead of cutting the actual straps, because if you could have done, I could have done that and just literally just tied them and made them a knot. I didn't want to do that because that would make the straps much shorter. So I just took an existing long ribbon or tie that I had, cut it in half, and I just tied one on here and I tied one in here. So simple, reminded me of the Reformation dress. I actually want to get longer ones than this to a sewing shop and get proper ribbon, much longer, so it's much bigger ties. And I think that's nice floppy bows sitting on here and here for this dress is gonna look so good. Anyone can do it. Use it for any color dress, You've any ribbon that matches the color of the dress that you've already got or go one step further and contrast the ribbon with the dress. Maybe it's a black dress, take white ribbons and vice versa. I think that's quite a really cool look actually. You suddenly create like a style feature of something that didn't exist before and it's so easy. Another hack for you, you need glasses, reading glasses, whatever, prescription glasses, and you're looking in the stores, you don't like what they've got. Some of you may not realize, some of you do, but I know I was one of those, one of those people who didn't realize. I have, I have reading glasses, and I've always been a big believer in the fact that I want my reading glasses to kind of look cool with whatever I'm wearing, right? So I'm a big believer in the whole like Kent kind of vibe glasses, kind of librarian look, so it clashes with everything you're wearing. I couldn't find the ones that I really wanted, so I looked at sunglasses and all I did was swap out the lens. Bob's your uncle, I got the look for what I wanted. <sighs> Mine eyes have been opened, literally. <laughs> Another quick hack for you, DIY your own bum bag. You notice that they're in a lot this season. Take one of your small flat bags. This is one of those that has a chain. See right here? Put the chain inside and then just take a belt. Can you see the belt? It's right here, there you go. All I did was take an existing belt that I've got. I actually like that look together, right? And just put it right here. Reach for your stuff. Boom. You have an instant, instant bum bag. Because <laughs> you can use any belt that you want. Just secure it at the back. Oh, easy. And you could put this over your coats, over your dresses. Oh, you get the point. So, so 
easy. I know I've mentioned this hack before in another video, but it's worth repeating. If you get oil spilt on your clothes, as soon as you can, take it off, lay it on a flat surface, get some baby talcum powder, and pour it on top of that oil spill and leave it there. That's the trick. Leave it there for as long as you can, i.e. a few days. And then after that, just lift it off and just brush the powder away and you'll see that the oil stain has gone because the powder has just slowly absorbed all of the oil out of the material and it is just brilliant. I've used it to save so many of my clothes and I love it. You know those plastic hangers that don't have these grooves so that the straps can sit in? They're just very smooth on both sides and then you find the strap keeps falling off or your clothes just keep falling off. One way to add some grit to both sides of the hanger is just to take an elastic band and just wrap it around a few times here. Same on that side and you've instantly created a block so that your clothes will stay and grip. Easy. You know those two tops that I bought in my Tuesday summer top picks, the mango, yeah, it was the mango ones that kind of like went round. I'll show you here what it looks like. If you've got a bra and you think to yourself, I don't like the look of my bra showing, another thing you can do is just to take a paper clip at the back and just bring those two straps together, created at the back that Y shape, that racer back on your bra straps. Now it's not showing from behind. And my last style hack for you is probably my oldest and it's still my favorite. It's to take a good Western boot. I've had this cowboy boot now for probably about seven years and it is absolutely one of my favorites. It's not going anywhere. Red snakeskin, metal tipped, and it was originally the tall one that goes up to your knee that has a kind of arch at the top. All I did was I took a pair of scissors and I cut it. Easy hack to turn your favorite boots into an ankle boot. And I left it raw edged right there because I just thought it just looks much more badass like that. And it's just one of the things that I've just been doing with a lot of my boots. And I've always kept the boots that I've done it to. Then to take it a step further, just to a Western or a cowboy type of shop, that boot just that extra bit cooler, just get a metal tip and you can have that applied for you at the cowboy Western type of shop. They usually have them in gold and in silver. You can also have it done at the back. I've had that done before in the past with another pair of boots. Um, yeah, it's just one of my favorite tips to do. Just a really cool way to just make a pair of boots just more badass. That's the only way I can say it. If you don't know how far to go down when you're cutting, just take the whole shaft of the boot when you buy it, fold it in half, right? And that's gonna kind of give you the look. You can just eyeball it to see what you think. And then just cut a little bit higher than you always think because you can always go a little bit lower, not the reverse. Just take a really sharp scissors and just cut away. Come on, just grow a pair of balls and do it. It's easy, it's fun as well. And you know what? I've noticed that Saint Laurent has been doing it as well. So, but I like the fact that I've been doing it years ago. So those are my favorite style and fashion hacks for you. If you've got any favorites, please leave them in the comments below. I want us to share what our favorite hacks are. That way, not only I'm seeing them, but we all are seeing them together. When I see my favorite hack from one of you lot, I'm going to pin it so it's gonna appear at the top of the comments thread so that everyone else can look at it. All right, so that is it. Um, I am off now. What am I gonna to say to you? Oh yeah, it's Friday. Have a good weekend and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.